Before we move forward, I want to talk about the home page. In Craft, we can designate a home page using a different section type called a single. And I talked about these earlier in the course. If we go into settings and go to sections, remember we have two sections created already, drinks and news, and these are the type of channel. I want to create a new section for the home page. So why do we want to create a section for the home page? Because we already have a template created. If you look here, we have this index.html file that comes with Craft when we install it. It's the default home page, and you can see it here. But sometimes our home pages have unique content requirements, and we want to enable the content editors the ability to manage the content from within the Craft control panel. Now, because the home page is not a collection of content, it's a one-off piece of content, a one-off page with unique content requirements. And that's kind of the bar that we want to sort of set for when do we use a single? Well, is it a single one-off page and does it have unique content requirements where it needs its own template? Then we want to use a single. So we can call this one home page, and then for section type, we'll choose single. Once we do that, things down below here will change. First of all, it has a little home icon here, and we want to check that because that means that this is going to be the home page. You can see the URI field is now disabled, and we do need to specify the template. And in this case, it's going to be index. You can see it lets us populate it there. And then for the preview targets, this is how we can preview our home page from within the control panel using the live preview feature. We have it set to just the URL of the page, which is perfectly fine. So once we save that, we now have a new section called home page and you can see the type is single and it has only one entry type. In here, we can now design a field layout for just this home page. Now let's say I wanted to have an excerpt in there or maybe an introduction and then some page copy. I could do that. I could also build maybe an additional field Later on, we'll talk about the matrix field. If I wanted to build like a slideshow or other things, I could do that all with the home page. We can also opt whether or not we want to show the title field. For the home page, it doesn't make sense to show the title field unless for some reason we wanted to do something special with that. So we click save. And now when I go into my entries under singles, here's the home page. I can click on that and you can see now on the home page, I can edit some fields. Now I just kind of drag these in, but you can see how we can then build custom fields just for the home page content because home pages are typically special pages. They can be a collection of content elsewhere on the site, but a lot of times they might have special call to actions or different modules that are specific to the home page that we want to manage here. And that's one of the real powers of craft is that it allows us to kind of go into the template and allow the content editor to customize whatever they need to customize. Now, of course, this is still our home page. And later on, when we light up the code to bring this to life, we'll delete this here and make it our Crafty Coffee homepage. And one other thing, you remember I created it right here and I specified index as the template. It finds that automatically for me based on my template directory. But you'll notice that is named index.html while I'll use twig for everything else. This is purely a preference. I like to use .twig because of the syntax highlighting I get, and I think it's more indicative of what actually the content is. So I can rename this to .twig so it is exactly like the rest of my templates but it's perfectly fine. Now, I don't have to have this in the root of my site, but Craft will use this as the homepage if I don't set up a single for it. It's always going to find the index template in the root of the template directory and serve that up as the homepage. So that's how you create a single. We made it the homepage by checking the home box. We assigned a template and we confirmed the preview target. If I go to the entry, and if you click on preview, you can see it shows me exactly what I expect, which is a rendering of that template. 
All right, we're gonna move on and start creating the rest of our settings.